Hello? Mm, they must already be out. Harvest. Har, har. I'm so mad I messed it up with B. I wonder if like there's any way to to not mess up with that. Ooh, look how cool this looks. Harvest Halloween. Let's do this. I can't jump. There you spin the wheel of destiny. Explain. None can be explained the power of the wheel. Save that as an unknowledgeable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the soothe? The soothe shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Four. A mighty spin, a commendable spin. Your fortune is your future. The place you will soon be. Forever. Oh, that checks out. Your card says much. In your life are those who would harm you, but also those who will protect you. You shall know both in time. Some people are cool, some people are assholes. Language. Sorry, this just seems like random facts about life. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowledgeable. So this is our unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel forever spin in your favor. Alright then. Okie dokie. Fortune or splash him? Okay. Hold him up. Okay. Hold up. Colleen, how did I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to the Harvest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. You can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Oh, balls. This is very touchy. Woohoo! You hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Gonna haunt ya for that. Dang it. I'm extremely cold and wet. Oh god. Oh, you've hit the evil witch. Ah, uh, which way will I go next? Oh, you're gonna hex me you up. Ah! Okay, bye. Wait. Ah! Oh no, I melted. I'm running away. Oh god, look at this old guy's face. Oh god, you're too fast. There we go. Oops, I'm a, the pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. Oh god, he's so fast. You got the pumpkin wet. Oh, that one hurt me. The pumpkin. I'm freezing now. The pumpkin is freezing. Oh, God. Why are they so fast? You stop moving. Hey. Hey. This, this is unfair. You're moving too fast. And then you stop. Hey. Hey. You suck. Dang it. There. Yeah. Rattle rattle. I'm a skeleton. Hey. Hey. Okay. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of Pasta Spring Town Council, we urge you to support local business. And enjoy your historic home. Awesome Springs more like... Kathleen, no. More like awesome springs. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Do I get a prize for that? I thought he did very well. I 
Got the parade going. Harvest sale. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously. We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Oh, uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big time for this. Jeez, I hear ya. So with all of the noises in the background. What? Okay, here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've heard, like, three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it six times in the past year. Two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. <laughs> okay, weird. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look up your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Okay, uh, I guess we're doing this. Oh god, I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ghosts. Are you here to hear? The tale of how Opossum Springs came to be. <laughs> Through the mists of time I see. Weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From the va vantage point I do spy a deep ho a hollow. And within a great dead tree. And beside with a uh, witch a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. Extremely old woman, I want to try a spare crust of bread for a needy woman. This sounds nice. <laughs> Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art rude and naughty boy. <laughs> I shall curse ye and thee. And this very night ye shall perish. <laughs> I am fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to just words with hell hag. Ye, he, he, he. I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon. And ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Brother Stephen, faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know. That the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> Yay, you did good, May. I think. Okay, okay. I thought we were done. Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, Greg. Uh, um... Uh, by the moon and stars above, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, uh, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Swoons! We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as pile of three hundred dead or beaver pelts. Well, they would be dead. 
Oi, it chilleth the heart. He 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 he. I did curse the spring. A curse upon ru rude young men. I did curse the spring. And that man, man who drinketh from it shall perish. <laughs> I, I'm slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm also a dud for a I have drank this of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse lust for blood would not be sainted. Sainted? Okay. <laughs> It's still going. <laughs> Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Oh, I am tormented by the accusing glare upon of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know she hath done? I thought I only had like five lines. Uh, um, crap. Four. For what is a ghost? For each man who's determined on his path. For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full and was haunted? Can I be place be unhaunted? Oh, okay. You! From the bus station! Young witch, is it I, the god of the forest? Uh, just didn't expect you to, uh, aid that the way. So, which thou hast tired too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night, through the stranger places. I what? Oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end, at night in the woods, but that is not the whole story. This is your line. How did you know so much about me? Force God, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end, end beginneth. Ha! <laughs> My infernal powers! Shh, young witch, even now. The world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. Take care. Thank you. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Potsdam Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest ex export are corn and pumpkins. And we used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here. For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up your flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. <laughs> Look at May's eyes. She's like. Oh good grief. That was insane. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are gonna going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. 
Okay, well. Night. Night. Bye, I guess. This is garbage. <laughs> Oh my god! What is this? What is the... Oh my god! Hey, anyone! Shit. May, what are you doing? What the hell is that? Where the hell did he go? Shit. This is not a good idea, May. Why are we doing this? We don't even have, like, mace or a weapon or anything. We could have brought a bat. Um. May? Go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. This could be like hot fuzz where everyone's into it. What's happening right now? Like, all the, 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 the commerce people are into it, trying to make their town perfect or some crap. What if I'm next? What is happening? I can't jump or anything. Is this another nightmare? This is spookier than normal. Oh, my controller's vibrating. Can't move. What was that about? It was a dream. Achievement unlocked. What? Part three, the long fall. That was weird. Uh, yeah. What's with the black hole, though? Hey, May. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that it completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Of course, girl. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Bad practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. After work, bye. Okay. I wonder if new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Uh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a big piece of granddad. We need more of these of those. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take. Weird to take, like, no one one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Yeah, I guess. You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existent like? Do, 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 do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs? I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head-on. You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it. Very close. Okay. 
Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? I do every morning, Mom. <laughs> hey, hun. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat... I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. What are you talking about? Want to talk about it? Later, I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So, what are you stressed out about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your in incident a few years back... Am I gonna know about this incident? As you know, we went into some debt, smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Uh, okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer those these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Like loan sharks? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long in the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? I'm a, and I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. How could I not worry, mother? What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is one answer. It's supposed to get you know, thinking. About murder? You should have been a detective. Yeah. I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? What else is in the room? Normal stuff, refrigerator, microwave, silverware, knives. No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. Oh, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. And then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Haha, <laughs> that's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Hold up a piece of Aunt Do Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. I'll make quite a pair of investigators. Could I open a det detective agency in town? Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna go get going. Love you, daughter, detective. You too, inspector mob. <laughs> so cute. Oh, this looks like Drew the dude. The dead dude. Okay. Hmm. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. 
What counts as Autumn's sin? What counts as an Autumn's sin? Cheating on your wife. With some gas station sh skank. In November. Oh, right, yeah, that's, uh... Inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazikoff. Yes, Selma. You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm big enough to target. Haha, <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You two. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Oh, I almost missed that. Miss Ms. May Borowski. Present. Hmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss. One should not miss such a thing. Talk, Talking of... Want to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. Am I gonna go blind again? Ah, I'm blind! <laughs> this is your own fault at the point, I would say. <laughs> How can we even see? It's so cloudy. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. It's like a dead dude. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy, the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did- wait, what? His own spirit possessed his own body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead, but possessed. By himself. Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually the star thing like this have some kind of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. Bah, ha, ha. Okay. Found one. Let's see. It's a snake. Big snake. Big snake? Yup. Anything else? I saw a big snake once. At the zoo, in scouts, we were hiking, and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat. It was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? A big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What? What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that he, they were encircled by the same big snake, and they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did the big snake attack people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. That's our pair for the day. Well, gee, Willikers, Mr. Chazikoff. Wahaha. <laughs> Willikers. <laughs> wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? You know it. I wonder what the next two are gonna be like.